Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Today we're in a Disney Vacation Club villa. This is a deluxe studio and it's located in the Copper Creek section of this resort. I've never been here before. I've never been to this resort or in one of these rooms. So I'm looking forward to sharing this with you. So let's turn you around and take a look. Now, the first thing you'll notice as we step into this room is this long, entryway. Now this is a little bit different from some of the other resort categories with the moderates and with the values we tend to see the bathroom far from the door on the other side of the room. Here the bathroom is right up front so that's just something that's a little bit different when you're looking at these rooms. This entryway is very narrow so we just have to step back so you can see the whole thing. But don't worry, we'll go over all of the details, starting with these lights. Now, there are two switches here. One is for the light that's right here in this entryway. The other is a master lighting switch. It's important to make note of this if you're staying in this room because if that switch is off, all of the lights in the room turn off. And no matter how many times you hit those switches, they will not turn any lights on if that switch is not turned on. So you can save yourself some stress by just making sure that that light is on when you enter the room. Here you'll see a closet. We open up this closet. It is kind of narrow again, but it's big enough to hold what you need it to. We do have some hangers. We have an ironing board over here, a safe, and an iron. You'll notice this safe does have a digital keypad, so there's no need to keep track of a key. You just have to keep track of the code. We have extra pillow and blanket up there, and then a little bit of space to tuck away your luggage or anything else that you need to tuck away, really. You could probably fit a small stroller in there. If we turn this way, there's this massive mirror, and it is on a door, so it is a barn door. If we slide this shut, you'll see it does close off that bathroom area. I'll put it back up for now. We'll take a look there in a second, but I do like that it does close off. It gives a little bit more privacy. You don't always see that in the deluxe studios, so that is really nice. If we turn this way, we have our kitchenette. Now, because this is a Disney Vacation Club villa, even though it is a deluxe studio, it doesn't have a full kitchen. It does have this kitchenette and it has everything that you need to get by. So we do have a microwave here. Up here in the cabinet, we have a toaster. Also extra space where you can tuck some snacks away. Here we have our ice bucket, as well as some cups for hot and cold. We do have some plates that are all wrapped, some lids for our cups. And here you can see there's an amenities list. We see this at all of the Disney Vacation Club villas. It tells you what you can request if you need it. So there are a lot of options available, help make your life a little bit easier. And of course there's space in there to tuck away some food and snacks. We have a sink here with some supplies to wash things like cups, mugs, and whatnot. We've got a coffee maker which is a full-size coffee maker. You don't always see that in other rooms, but we do get that here in Disney Vacation Club Villas. And of course we have our coffee as well. There are some plugs here so that we can plug in some appliances. Do have an extra light here as well. Down here, we have our fridge. I can there we go, just have to open it from the door and not the top. Um, here we have our fridge. No ice maker or freezer section in this fridge, which is becoming less and less common nowadays, but it is good size. Can definitely put some food and drinks in there. Under the sink, we have some more supplies, paper towels, and more space. 
no fire extinguisher in here. Got our trash right there. And some cutlery and other kitchen necessities in this drawer. And here, oh, look at this. Never seen this before. This is so nice. It's like a pull-out pantry area. That's a lot of space to put snacks and other necessities. Tuck it away really nice. I like that. All right, so if we turn this way, we see our bathroom area. And this is just like other bathroom areas that we've seen. We have two sections. There is this vanity area here, which is rather large. Hi. So we have this big mirror. I do like how bright it is in here. Definitely very bright. And we have a ton of space, including this shelf here, which I think is really nice to put toiletries, spread out, plenty of space to do that. We have a makeup mirror over here that does light up. And it is a magnifying makeup mirror. Whoa, there you are. Hi. <laughs> um, so that's nice. I know that that's really helpful for a lot of people. We have some H2O Plus products here. And of course, there's some space. We've got tissues down here, drawers, some space under here with extra toilet paper and tissues. Quiet clothes, which is nice because it keeps the rooms a little bit quieter. There's our hair dryer and another trash barrel right there. And then over here we have our bathroom and shower. So first things first, we have a pocket door and it has this little handle that can be a little bit difficult to use. Um, I don't know, we noticed that over at the Riviera. I thought I'd mention it again for this room, but the lock is also kind of, kind of flat, so that might be difficult for some people, but it's not a huge deal. This is a true pocket door, though it does close all the way. And then we have our toilet. Great artwork here. And here is our walk-in shower. So we've got this nice, there is a step here, but it's a walk-in shower. Got that rainfall shower head, and we have this handheld. It's giving me a little bit of trouble, but we have this handheld. I think that this is nice, especially if you have kids. Um, I know that walk-in showers can be a little bit difficult, but if you have a handheld shower head like this, it makes it a little bit easier to like clean them without having a complete disaster of a situation, you know, can control water a little bit. Have some more soap up here. And of course we have our wall mounted. This is interesting though. This is the first time I've seen this kind. Normally it's the bottle, but I like this. Maybe this will be better. We'll see. Sometimes the bottles don't let out a lot of product. And there is kind of a little ledge over there. We do have this clothes hanger for hanging bathing suits, which is nice. And I've mentioned this before, I love this textured glass. I love that this makes things a little bit more private, especially in these smaller rooms. It's nice when you have bigger rooms as well, but I do like that someone could be in the shower and be in here or use the bathroom without seeing directly in between the fog and the texture on the glass. So we have some towels here, plenty of towels. Now it looks like there's four towels. I think that that means that four people can sleep in this room. We'll check that out here in a second. But speaking of that, we're here at the 
bedroom portion of the room. So we have the bed here, of course, and then over there we have the sofa, which I believe is a pullout. And as you can kind of see back there, we'll take a closer look, but there's a door back there. That's because this is a lock off room, which means that if you're staying in a Disney Vacation Club villa and you're gonna go for a two bedroom villa with a lock off, you'll have this room attached to a one bedroom villa. Now we've toured one bedroom villas before at other resorts. The layout's gonna be pretty much the same, although the theming will be a bit different. So if you wanna check out one of our previous videos, you can see what a one bedroom villa would look like. And then when you combine that with this, that's where you get your two bedroom villa, at least in the case of a lock off. Some rooms actually have two bedrooms in their two bedroom villa. It's one huge room, but other rooms have this lock off situation where it's two separate rooms connected by a door. Different rooms will be better for different families and different family dynamics. I do think that this is a great option if you have an adult family that's going to be staying in one of the bedrooms. So, you know, you have adult children, for example, they want a little bit more privacy, but still to be connected. This would be a great option for that. So here's our bed and we have this beautiful headboard. The theming in this room, I feel, is kind of subtle. It's not dark in this room like you see elsewhere in the resort. It's, it's bright and light colors, but it still has that Wilderness Lodge feel. Definitely feels like you're in someone's cabin, which I think is nice. Got some artwork here on the wall. These are all different areas in this resort by the way, we'll check some of them out in different videos, so make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss that. We have some more light switches. Don't forget, we wanna make sure that that master switch is on so that these work. And then here is our climate control panel. If we turn this way, we'll see the first of two nightstands. Now this is a very large area, plenty of space here which we love to see every time we're looking at these rooms. And of course we have some outlets here as well as USB, got some drawers, good size. You can definitely tuck stuff away in here. And we do have lights. These are the lights that are over the bed and they are on a dimmer. So there is the switch on and off, and then there's the dimmer, which is nice. Now, because this room is renovated, we do have that new style of bed. So it is elevated, and that means we can tuck more stuff under there. Looks like there's a little bit of dust under there, some crumbs, but that's all right. Sometimes things get missed. Still worth noting. Here we have our table and chairs very small tucked away it's nice because it is square so you still have that table and chairs but it is tucked away it doesn't really impede the walking over here and we do have some outlets there as well got a light over the table and a mirror here's our second nightstand right here same as the first, we have our outlets. We do have a phone here, our clicker for the TV. And then of course, our three drawers and plenty of space between this bed and the couch, which can pull out and become a second bed. So no problems there in terms of space. I do love that for this room. Something else I think is interesting that we haven't seen before is there's a carpet in this room. So you'll notice that there's no like carpet throughout. We do have this laminate wood style flooring, which is great, I do love that. But we also have this, well, I suppose it's an area rug, which I think is nice. It creates a warm space. It creates just a divide. I think that's nice. Here's our couch, it's rather large and it is a pull out so you can pull that out and have another bed which means this would sleep four other one bedroom villas will have a murphy bed underneath the television for a fifth person 
usually ideal for kids, although it will fit a really motivated adult. So that's an option, but it's not an option in this room in particular. I don't know if it's an option in other rooms. Here's our kind of coffee table, but it looks like this pops up. Yes, it does, which I think is great. So that creates another space for dining, also creates more space for storage down there, which I think is fantastic. I love that these are in the rooms. They're pretty easy to use. Let's see how hard this is to move. Oh, it's on wheels. So super easy to move this, which you're gonna have to do if you have more people sleeping in this room with you. So that's nice. The question is, is there anywhere to put this comfortably? I mean, I suppose we could fit it over there as long as that door is shut, but it might take a little bit of maneuvering to make this work with both beds out. Just something that I am noticing as we look in here. Here we have some artwork on the wall, which is lovely. Now, if we turn this way, oh, I should probably mention another light over here and another control for the lights up top. In fact, each side controls a different light. I will say that, I don't know if you can hear it. But that light's making a lot of noise. Can you hear that? When I turn it off, let me try. Interesting. Anyway. Now let's turn this way. We do have our big television centered between the two beds. And then we have this really cute dresser. It's really interesting, unique, still feels Wilderness Lodge to me. We've got outlets on either side, so plenty of space for charging your magic bins or whatever other device you have. And then we have lots of drawers here. Really deep drawer over here. So there's no lack of space in here, especially to tuck things away, which I think is nice. Finally, we have this door that I mentioned earlier. So this is the door that would open if you want to get one of those two bedroom villas that's a lock off. That will be the door that opens. And there's of course two doors. There's one on my side and then there's one on the neighboring room's side. But last but not least, let's take a look at our view out here. It is beautiful. We do have a balcony. So we have a balcony and two chairs. And this room looks out over an area kind of between the two buildings, which is really nice. You know, one of the things that I mention all the time is that I prefer when rooms don't look out over a parking lot. And here at this resort, the parking is out front. So there's a bit of a walk to the parking, but again, we'll talk more about that some other time when we review and kind of give an overview of this resort as a whole. But I do love that you can look out and be just transported to a completely different place. That's great, and I do enjoy that. One last thing I wanna say though as we kind of wrap it up, because we have looked at this whole room, is where would you put stuff like an ECV, a stroller? I don't feel like this room has a ton of space for that. So that's something that we'd have to think about if we were gonna have like a big double wide stroller. I think you're gonna probably have to fold it up at night, especially if you're gonna be using both of these beds. However, if you're not, there is a lot of room over here by this door. In fact, there's even an outlet over there. So we could pull an ECV all the way in and there's plenty of space to do that, to drive your ECV in and then park it over here at the back of the room and plug it in. It'll be a little cumbersome. You know, it's not gonna work if you have four people staying in this room, at least if you do, it's gonna be kind of tight 
in my opinion, but let me know your thoughts in a comment down below. But that about does it for a look at this room. Again, let me know your thoughts if you've ever stayed at Wilderness Lodge or if you've ever stayed in a Disney Vacation Club villa before. How does this room stack up compared to other deluxe studios or deluxe studios at different resorts? Tell us all about it in a comment down below. Of course, don't forget to continue following along for all of our Wilderness Lodge videos. We have a lot of them coming your way. We're going to explore the resort. We're going to take a look around, have some of the food, and then tell you what we thought. So make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss that. Also, hit that like button if you liked this video. It helps us out a lot and we really appreciate it. But that's all for now. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.